right, and good job, Demeter. Look at that. She has now managed to snag rabbit number 81, my friends. And hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with our Generation 3 heiress, Demeter, who has now just gotten herself a little bit of breakfast on our way to chase away one of the younger males from the Prospect Peak pack who had the audacity to go ahead and try to have a raid on our rendezvous site. I think we're going to go up here with Ayasin and try to knock out their territory marker so that hopefully we can make a little bit more of a buffer room for our pups. But also, friends, we're going to be a little careful because Lark is still sick. So I do want to make sure that we spend enough time with Lark that hopefully he'll recover from his illness. But also, fingers crossed, maybe he can just put on another 1.6 pounds and get to 20 pounds and then we can have him survive. But we'll have to go ahead and see. Oh, there's a lot of factors at play right now. But all right, guys. Whoa, hi, Ayasin. <laughs> all right, guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and get our adventures with Demeter started. I think she is right on the edge of being able to wrap up being a mother to the generation three part of the Dawn Moon legacy, which really makes my heart feel so happy and conflicted at the same time, because I really adore being able to spend time. <gasps> a moose! Does it have a calf with them? Oh wow, like all of the scents are behind us today. <gasps> There's a rabbit! Okay, we're gonna need to look for that too, but let's actually follow this moose and see if it has a calf with it, because if it does, I would love to drag that back to the den for our pups. Or I should say the rendezvous site for our pups, because that would be a lot of food. So let's keep over here and just, you know, I'll just see. Nope, it is a gigantic bull moose. No luck there, friends. Also, he looks like he could definitely step on us. So we're going to give him a little bit of space. However, there is oh, a lucky rabbit's foot trail. Okay, we need to go ahead and we need to put in, is it going up this way? No, it's going this way. We need to put in the work to try to get the rabbits, too, because we are so, so, so close. Is there one right there? And get it, Demeter! Yes! We're so close to completing her life quest of being able to hunt 100 rabbits. This is rabbit number 82, actually. I miscounted the rabbits last episode. I hope you guys can, can forgive me. And then, but I've been having a little tracker here. That's why you should always have your field notes with you, FYI. All right, Iason's gone ahead and had a rabbit snack. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Walt's still going kind of to the northeast to establish ourselves. Okay, that's a cougar. Don't need any of that nonsense. No, thank you. Yeah, really don't need any of that nonsense. We'll go ahead and leave the cougar be. All right. Yeah, that didn't really want to run into that cougar. Whoops, and we've gone right up to the border. All right, so to the north from here. But I really want to be able to give Demeter the fame I feel she's due. Ugh, fine. I really want to give Demeter the fame I feel that she's due. So we are going to need to find just a few more rabbits, just like a little over 20. <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my gosh, this rabbit's going in circles to try to avoid us. <laughs> Clever, but... There we go! 83, oh, wonderful. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. Okay, Ayasin, I'll actually let him, well, if we run into something, cause he's getting a little hungry, and that elk kill was old. He's getting a little hungry, so I wanna keep Ayasin with us so that he won't eat the food for the puppies that we have at the den. And instead he'll come with us and maybe get something to eat. But we're downwind. We're not like in the right, or we're upwind, unfortunately, I think. How would you say we're not in this spot to be able to smell the things that we should be able to smell? We'll turn around and we'll push ourselves more towards the west. Really? I don't think so, buddy. It's the same guy who was trying to mess with us earlier. Let's get him. I want him to know that he can't come and, oh my gosh, how dare he use the border as a way to try to defend himself. All right, wait for it. Ah, I missed him. Come on, come on. All right, let's wiggle around here. We're gonna win this fight because this is the guy I think. 
Oh no, this is a female instead. <gasps> Demeter. Okay, so we've, oh, he, she's also got a collar on. Holy cow, she looks almost identical to Aya said. It's almost like having a couple siblings fight. All right, let's see if we can chase her away because she's alone. And if we can get another couple bites on her, I think we might be able to convince her. Come on. I think if we could just get a couple bites on her, we might convince her. I said, get her, get her, get her, get her. Where'd she go? All right, lock on. Avoid, avoid, avoid. And come on, bite her. Bite her, you get her, Demeter, get her. Come on, Demeter. Oh, we got her. We just need to convince her to get out of here. Oh, Ayasin. Holy cow. All right, I think we won. Nice. Okay, we won. Now we need to do the hard work of coming over to the scent spot and erasing it. And then we'll howl and we'll get back over to the little lark. We've got this. Good job, Demeter! Alright, and then I think Howling actually reduces the territory quite a bit. And since we've won the fight in this zone, even though it's at 100%, or it was... <gasps> yes! One more Howl and it's ours! Victory! Good job, Demeter! Alright, and honestly, I think she now has all of the territory that she wants to ever try to have established over here. So, let's go ahead... Apparently there's a lucky rabbit down here we could celebrate with. Or it got spooked off, actually. And we're gonna start following the scents back over to our puppies. And also to any potential rabbits. 40 minutes ago? 35 minutes ago? 35 minutes ago? Down here. Ha! Yes! All right. That is 84. There we go. And then we'll try to find something to feed Ayasin and or... I mean, he'll go feed himself at times too. All right, Prospect Peak Stranger Wolves in the area. Another rabbit. Excellent. 85, only 15 more needed, friends. Were those the Prospect Peak Stranger Wolves that just trotted by? What the heck? It was something that just trotted by, that's for sure. All right, Ayasin ate that rabbit. What do we have here? No, look, it was the Prospect Peak Stranger Wolves who just trotted by. Whoa! Okay, well, we still have control of this area, so I'm not gonna worry about them. All right, let's 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 go ahead and find... Scent marks everywhere. Egotistical wolves! I'm trying to find food! I just need 15 more rabbits before our pups age up. But I'm kind of worried about finding them, I'm not gonna lie. Because it doesn't seem like I can smell anything other than egos all over the place right now. <gasps> yes! Oh, so relieved. All right, how are you doing, Ayasin? Okay, he's actually almost full, so we'll go ahead and eat this one. And now I think we're about full. And how's Lark doing? Ooh, we should probably go spend some time with Lark. All right, let's see. What's this? <gasps> Male dispersal wolves from the Lebo pack in our territory? I don't think so, but actually if we run into them, then we'll be able to have a wild card. We need to run into the, either the uh, Crescent Lake pack, AKA the Dark Abyss Lake pack, or we need to run into the unaffiliated non-pack stranger wolves twice more in order to be able to... Oh, what the heck are we chasing? <gasps> a baby! Sorry, sorry, mom, mule deer, sorry. We just ran into a whole herd of mule deer and come on, this fawn is actually a really good food. Also, I think there's a mother moose that we can bring back a baby for. Is that a male or female moose? I can't tell. It's a mom moose! Oh my gosh, everybody was here at the gravel pits. This little one is trying to fight for its life too. Oh heck. Sorry guys. We were a little hungry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and eat this little one. Feel kind of bad. And then we're gonna take the, the moose and we're gonna haul the moose 
over to our pups, because that will probably feed them up the rest of the way. All right. Now to not be stepped on by the angry moose mom. Okay, dodge, dodge. Almost got the moose calf. We just have to wait for the mom to get out of the way. She can't run as fast as we can, so... <sighs> okay. Wait for them to be spooked, but not go all the way into the water spooked. Alright. Come on, you two. So the babies are now big enough that they're wandering around. Move, 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 Demeter. Ouch! I dislike taking this much damage, but at the same time... Okay, good, 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 good. Got it! Okay! Oh, we got the moose, you guys! All right, this is gonna feed the pups for ages, and I think Demeter is actually pretty happy about having been able to snag something so wonderful to take back to them. However, now we have the immense challenge of actually making it all the way back to the rendezvous site with a moose calf. I, I kind of feel like Demeter's feeling extremely validated in a lot of ways because A, she always feels like this big open, oh, we really need that, we really need that, we really need that. I know this seems ridiculous, but we really need that. Yes. Okay, Ayasin, I need you to eat this, okay? So we don't waste it. All right, so that is actually 87, only 13, 13 left, my friends. Okay, and where did I drop the food? Ayasin. Where did I... Ayasin, help. Help. Where's my own footprints? Hard to find my own footprints. Right here? No, that was 45 minutes ago. Ayasin, no! Where did I drop our hard one kill? It was back here, right? Oh, no! This is really embarrassing! This is really embarrassing. Where's our kill? There it is! Right? Is this it? That's a log! Uh-oh. What about down here? Freaking coyotes! Could you guys- Did you guys eat my kill? There's the mother moose! I don't want to waste your sacrifice, mother moose! <gasps> oh no! Did we really lose that because I was so focused on the rabbits? Oh, thank goodness, there it is. Okay. So relieved. But you know what? A dead moose calf looks an awful lot like a pile of, of dead wood. So I don't blame myself for getting a little bit befuddled. But I think that Demeter's kids might really fall in love with this area. Yes, they're always constantly trying to keep out the extremely stressed and stressful forest cliff wolves. The forest cliff wolves seem like they're they're pressured maybe by something further south because they don't come across as a pack that's particularly strong to me. They really come across as a pack that's kind of struggling and and has to define like their territory bigger than what you would think as a result. So I I don't think they're a huge threat because they usually seem distracted by something else. So I think Demeter's kids would feel safe kind of coming back and making this area their own. The only downside is that there are not a lot of dens. So you really are short up on how many dens you can have. Also, nobody better leave the the den or leave the little rendezvous site. We're almost there. Lark? Lark's health isn't going down terribly. Is that a rabbit? No, it's a log. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Lark's health is not going down terribly, but we will try to spend more time with him. That being said, I think the gravel fan is going to be the spot where we're going to be spending most of our time as we hunt up as many rabbits as we can and hopefully get ourselves up to the 100 rabbit mark that we're looking for. All right, come on, Demeter, we're almost back. Kind of nervous, don't want a pup to leave. We can, we can, like, we're, our mouth is full, so it's not like we can bark and howl at them to stay in place. But we're almost back. With an amazing offering. All right, kids, it's the biggest thing that mom's ever brought back to the home. 
And there you go. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Demeter, who is doing her best to take care of her family. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.